Seth Money right. Brown, Eric right. said, Junior. Right. Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, it's Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight Wars? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one is on three big dogs in this fight game. We have Javante Tank Davis, that killer, that can reel out of Baltimore, the three division world champion. You know, one of the hottest fighters in the game. Everybody lined up to fight him. Then we have Vasily Lomachenko, another three-division world champion. The former unified lightweight world champion, one of the most skillful fighters in the game. And then we have Gary Russell Jr., one of the most skillful fighters in the game. The WBC featherweight world champion, one of the longest reigning WBC world champions in the game, if not the longest. Um, Javante Tank Davis want to come out and let Gary Russell know, listen, I'm not afraid of you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not ducking you, shouty. You know, and we can most definitely get it in. But first and foremost, you know, Tank want to let Gary know, you know, that I'm going to do your dirty work for you. And I'm going to show you how to beat Vasily Lomachenko. I'm going to show you how to beat Vasily Lomachenko because I think Javante Tank Davis um, will fight Vasily Lomachenko before the, long, um, before the Gary Russell fight will happen. You know what I'm saying? So I think Tank want to let Gary know, right? I'm going to take care of your dirty work for you and I'm going to go out here and I'm going to knock Vasily Lomachenko ass out to show you how to get the job done. You understand what I'm saying? To show you how to get the job done. So, you know, this Tank and Vasily Lomachenko fight, I do believe is going to happen. You feel me? I do believe Tank and, and, and Lomachenko can be possible for 2022. I know a lot of people might find that hard to believe, but I do believe Tank and Vasily can get done in 2022. Now, Mr. Gary Russell Jr. is the longest reigning WBC champion, you know, in boxing right now um one of the most skillful fighters in boxing right now one of the most fastest fighters in boxing right now and uh, you know gary do a lot a lot a lot of call outs you know what i'm saying he do a lot of call outs without making you know certain moves to make people believe that those call outs are true not saying that gary don't want them fights you know like he calling out tank but he's still at 126 you know, calling out other fighters, but you're still at 126. I think once Gary make that move to the next division, you know, people start believing Gary. But, you know, a lot of people say Gary should be focusing on getting that get back with Vasily Lomachenko first and then worrying about fighting everybody else. Because Vasily Lomachenko, you know, is a big time win for Mr. Gary Russell Jr. If he can get in there and, 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 and defeat this man right here who a lot of people look at as one of the most skillful, one of the most dangerous fighters in the game still. And we know that he's fighting at 135 pounds now, um, Lomachenko, trying to get himself back in position um, to be a world champion. Look like he got an opportunity to fight George Kambosis, you know, for the three titles that George Kambosis hold. Uh, we all know Lomachenko lost to Teofimo Lopez for the same three titles that, you know, where he had two, Teofimo had one. You know, for the same titles that, you know, Cambosis is holding right now. So Loma is trying to get his belts back from Cambosis. And it looked like it, it's very possible, very possible, depending on the strings that Bob Earn pulls, you know, to see if he can get the Lomachenko fight with George Cambosis. And if George Cambosis is going to choose Devin Haney, um, sorry, De George Cambosis is going to choose Lomachenko over Devin Haney. So, you know, it's a lot that's going on at 135 right now. But nonetheless, man. This killer right here, Javante Tank Davis, right there in the mix. He's right there in the mix. So we all know Tank is going to get another fight in. Um, I'm not saying it's going to be Lomachenko next, right? But assuming if Lomachenko get them titles with George Kambosis, then Tank can be a very possibility for um, Lomachenko in 2022, somewhere in the fall or the winter time. You understand what I'm saying? Somewhere in the fall or the winter time, we can get Javante Tank Davis versus Vasily Lomachenko as long as Bob Erm and Floyd Money Mayweather come to the table with the right deal and make this thing happen. You understand me? Now, a lot of people like to say, well, Javante Davis is afraid of Lomachenko. He don't want to fight Lomachenko. You know, he's afraid. He's scared. But like I said, Tank Ben said, I'll fight Lomachenko. Just make sure my money right. You understand? He Ben said, I'll fight Lomachenko. Just make sure my money right. And a lot of people get to screaming, well, Floyd Mayweather, you know, he said he was going to make the Lomachenko fight happen to scare Javante Tank Davis. When he said that about Lomachenko, he was scaring Tank. No, he was not scaring no Tank, bro. Y'all got to understand, when Javante and Floyd got into it, right, Tank was getting pissed off at Floyd for not putting him in bigger fights, things of that nature. 
Now, Tank was looking at Floyd like, you ain't making my fights happen. Al Heyman making my fights happen. You ain't doing shit for me. You know what I mean? You might do a little promote, but you're really not doing shit for me, right? So that's when they was going back and forth. When Tank said things about Floyd, Floyd said things about Tank. Um, Floyd said, you know what? I'm going to make the, the, the Vasil Lomachenko fight happen. We go do that. And Tank like, I ain't fighting shit. I don't care what you set up. I ain't fighting nobody you set up. If it ain't Al Heyman, I ain't going to fight it. That don't mean Tank was afraid of no fucking Lomachenko. That means Tank was letting Mayweather know that you ain't going to force me to do nothing you want me to do because Al Heyman is making these things happen. They had their own little riff, but that's over with now. That's over with. And now what do Floyd say? Oh, no, you know, um, we'll fight Lomachenko when we get time to it. You know, Tank is doing this, Tank is doing, you know what I'm saying? So y'all got to know how to read in between the lines and see what's going on inside of certain things. But nonetheless, if Tank was to get inside that square circle with Vasily Lomachenko, Tank is going to knock him out. Tank is going to knock him out. You feel me? Now, it ain't going to be easy at all. I respect Lomachenko. I'm a fan of Lomachenko. I understand the skill set that he possesses. I understand the angles that he go with. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about Javante Tank Davis, that kid got that equalizer. He has that equalizer. And once that thing land on you, it changes your whole game plan. I say once that thing land on you, it changes your whole game plan. Now, will Vasily Lomachenko have success in the Javante Tank Davis fight? Yes, he will, bro. It's Lomachenko. Is Loma Chinko stop playing like he ain't a killer? Loma is a killer. I give him his just due in his credit, bro. I give him his just due in his credit. But the thing is, that beast from Baltimore, that killer, that gorilla, Javante Tank Davis, he go weather that storm like he's always do. He go weather that storm and he go come up with that motherfucking bazooka and land it right on Loma Chinko chin. Land it right on his chin, whether it's the upper cup or the hook. And he go knock Lomachenko ass out. I'm telling y'all. He go knock him out. And then Gary Russell, guess what? He go knock your ass out. He go knock you out. But first, he go handle your dirty work. He go handle your dirty work because you don't put no pressure on Lomachenko like you say you do these other boys. You don't. You don't put your arm around Lomachenko, daddy. You don't, you don't call Lomachenko no bitches. You don't push up on Lomachenko the way you do these other boys like you say. You try to be the bully in the game. You dig what I'm saying? Just what I see. Just what I see. So do you really want that Lomachenko smoke? Do you really want that get back? Do you really want that rematch? Like people say, he called out Lomachenko. He called out. He ain't on Lomachenko helmet like that. He ain't on Lomachenko helmet like that. You feel me? Go put your hands around Lomachenko, daddy, and say you want that smoke. That's the man that beat you. That's the man that put hands on you. That's the get back you need to be getting. Right? And if you beat Lomachenko, it'll put you right there in position as a big dog at the 135-pound division. Am I right or am I wrong, y'all? Am I right or am I wrong? If Gary Russell go beat Vasily Lomachenko at 135, guess what that's going to do for Gary Russell? Put him right in line. Put him right in line. So the question is, do Gary really want that smoke with Loma? Do he really want that smoke with Loma? At the end of the day, you got to avenge that loss, dog. You got to make that right. You got to make that right. But Javante Tank Davis will get the Lomachenko fight. Just like Javante Tank Davis got the Leo Santa Cruz fight. You feel me? And we all seen what he did to Leo Santa Cruz. A man that's at 126, just like Gary Russ was at 126. But Tank can't get no credit for Leo. But Chuck will give him credit if he beat um, Gary Russell. But Leo Santa Cruz was a hotter fighter than Gary Russell. More accomplished than Gary Russell. Come on, man. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. But at the end of the day, Tank going to go out there. And he's going to knock Lomachenko out. Knock him out. Handle Gary Russell dirty work for him. Because Gary ain't trying to make that move towards Loma, man. For some reason. For some reason, Gary talked tough about everybody else. Gary talked tough about Bud. Gary talked tough about Tank. Gary talked tough about Leo. But Gary don't talk tough about that, 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 that Lomachenko, man. Gary don't talk tough about that Lomachenko, man. You feel me? I want to see that energy towards Lomachenko, Gary. I want to see that same energy towards Lomachenko, Gary. The man that took the triple job away from you. You did the man that took the triple job away from you. 
and a man that defeated you. Come on, man. You supposed to be, be trying to get that get back like, like it was yesterday, homie. You supposed to be on this neck and not letting up. On this neck and not letting up, bro. But I don't see that energy. But I'm going to tell y'all now, Tank Davis will handle that. Tank Davis will handle that. You know, once Tank get that fight signed, sit and deliver with Lomachenko, bro, Tank go knock that boy out. He go knock that boy out. You know what I'm saying? Get them titles, wherever them titles at. You feel me? And if Gary want to come on up and get that work, Gary can get it too. But Gary's going to have to come up first. Gary can't keep standing behind the yard barking and not coming up. You got to come from behind that fence, Gary. You got to come from behind that fence, baby. You got to move up to the division. You got to make us believe it. You got to make us believe it. You can't sit at 126 all day saying you want this fighter, that fighter, that fighter, and don't ever make a move to that division. Leo Santa Cruz went to 130 and got some wins. Leo Santa Cruz went to 130 and got some wins and got a title. You feel me? He went to 130 and got some wins and got a title. So, Gary, you got to move up and make some shake and bake if you really want that tank smoke, if you really want that Lomachenko smoke, if you really want that Devin Haney smoke. You got to move up and make some shake for us, man. Let us believe it. Let us believe it. You feel me? So... At this point, y'all, Javante Tank Davis is the number one big dog in the game, right? For us at their division, all these boys won't tank. Tank can only fight one cat at a time. It's just like Canelo. You know, Tank is in line to fight all these boys, but you only fight one at a time, bro. You can only fight one at a time. Come up, do something, then you'll get the Tank fight. Come up, do something, then you'll get the Tank fight. But until then... You know, y'all boys will keep chasing the big dog and Javante Tank Davis because y'all know Tank is the guy to beat to get that recognition at the end of the day. But like I said, and I'm standing on what I'm saying, when Javante Tank Davis and Vasily Lomachenko get made, because I do believe it can get made in 2022, when Tank knock out Vasily Lomachenko, when he knock out Vasily Lomachenko, I want y'all boys to give him all this credit in the world. And Gary, I want you to thank Tank for doing your dirty work. And then you will be next if you move your ass up. So let's see if you move up and, and do something to put yourself in position. Period. Otherwise, I don't want to hear you want to fight Tank and you still sitting at 126. Miss me with that shit. But good luck to you this Saturday. I'm pulling for you. Let's see how you get down. Shouts out to Lomachenko. Good luck to you. Most definitely shouts out to that King Javante Tank Davis. Keep doing your thing, man. And to the end, it's your boy Monty. It's the NSBC moving and nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. Trey have to 52 at gmail.com or PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.